Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector. Welcome back to part two of the 50 car Redline reveal, collection reveal. I'm getting that all mixed up. But as you remember in the last video, I got a couple of blister packs, not from this collection, but from another guy. And one of the things I was doing, let me show you, is removing a price sticker. And the one of the things you wanna do is you wanna take your time and do it right. And uh, look at, I like to use these tweezers to pull at the tag, but never ever scrape. Don't scrape. Put your sticker remover stuff on there. Make sure it soaks in. This is about the fourth time I've applied it. Now it does darken up the card, but it will, when it dries, that will all go away. And um, I like to wait until it's completely ready to come off on its own, you know, without a whole lot of pulling. There's a little bit too much pulling. I'm going to have to wait and come back again, probably at the end of this video, to see how that goes. Now, I'm going to remove all these guys. Am I going to move these out of the way? I think I'll just leave these up here. We'll get started on this box over here and see what we have. There's supposed to be two fully complete original 16s in this collection, and it's looking good so far. Uh, so we'll just keep going. Here we go. <clears throat> all right, here we go on box number two. Box number two. Uh, no, what's behind door number two? No, not that. Box number two. Oh, wow. Check it out. It's a purple fleet side, but it's with the double purple base. Oh, my gosh. And the purple front as well. Holy smokes. That's a scarce one. Wow, we. Huh. I don't even know if I've ever had one with purple on there. Is that all real? Let me look in the magnifying glass. I'll be right back. Yep, that's all the real deal. That is so cool. I don't, I pretty much never had that before. Hmm, I'm loving that. All right, Seasider, scooch over for this purple with purple front end and purple tail. That's cool. Volkswagen, Volkswagen, oh my goodness. She's a beauty. <clears throat> She's a Volkswagen. Man, this thing looks like a blister pack pole. Holy smokes. Wowee, look at that. Front and back. Right there. Beautiful. Ah, I just want to stare at it. Just stare. You're getting sleepy. Sleepy. No, that's why I made this into two videos. Because you wouldn't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep watching my video. Be sure to watch more. Let them run. Walk away and just let them play. That's a good idea. All right. What do we got now? We have a blue python. Python, blue, ho, whoa, nice, nice, python, I haven't sold any pythons lately, honestly, I have not sold any lately, maybe the prices are too high, hmm, Corvette Green US, green and US, this is a lovely green car. See if there's anything wrong with it. Is the hood broken? No. Wow. Got a little bit of wear up there, but that's just, I, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it slid on its roof or something, but overall, a very, very nice car. Hmm. I'm going to put her here on the tracks. <clears throat> put her on the tracks. All right. If you weren't, if, if you hadn't watched my video where I talked about this track, it just goes around my desk so that I can play with trains without leaving my desk. Because I can't always get to, I don't have a, I just have a small track for my trains. I'm mainly just into collecting them. And I'm mainly just into spending money on them. That's really what it is. I've got a train store close by that has some pretty good deals. And, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And when I say good deals, do you know anything about HO trains? Let me show you what I got yesterday. So what's fun for me about trains is that I can go over to my local train store and I can pick up quality HO rolling stock and for like $10 or less. So in yesterday's case, I bought um, three cars for $20. All three for 20. Look at this. BC Rail and Burlington Northern. And these are nice cars with metal wheels and everything. Now this one's missing a connector on one side, but I'll put that on. But yeah, three high quality rail cars for 20 bucks, the whole mess. So pretty cool. 
Gives me something to spend money on. <clears throat> All right, let's get back to the Hot Wheels. Look at this gold silhouette. I'm in love with this gold silhouette, I think. It's beautiful. And the sad thing about that silhouettes is that they have the most perfect wheels, and which go perfectly on Mustangs, Camaros, Cougars. And so I end up with a lot of silhouettes with no wheels. Isn't that sad? That is sad. I'll put that up there. All right, keep going. Keep going. No more distractions. Come on, get with it. And holy smokes, antifreeze Volkswagen. Wow. Huh. That is nice. That is nice. Wow. Antifreeze Volkswagen. There's the back. There's the front. There's the bottom. Look at that. That is a nice car. That is a nice car. That really is. That really is a nice, nice car. Oh. And look at this. We got another purple Eldorado. This one, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Decent shape. Not perfect. Got some chippies on the front hood and the, all that, but... Yeah, what are you going to do? That's a nice car. Look at that shiny base. Holy, holy smokes. Loving it. Loving it. Wow. What a lucky fellow I am. Get to buy all these Hot Wheels. Well, I dropped out of society many years ago so that I could do nothing but collect Hot Wheels. It's a lot of work. <laughs> It really is. I don't know about you, but I got up, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. I came downstairs, and I started putting to get, together today's listings. And um, I always get started by at least 6 a.m., and I keep going till about 4. Then I talk to people at night. Look at that. Custom T-Bird. Isn't that nice? That is nice. And I am never off the clock. People call me at all hours of the day and nights, weekends, you name it. That's what I do, because I love it. I love Hot Wheels. They're so pretty. I mean, come on, look how pretty they are. Ah, yes, a blue U.S. Firebird. Blue U.S. Firebird. Decent shape, good color. Hood's a little rocky. That's typical for the Firebird. <clears throat> typical for the Firebird. All right, here we got a cougar, a blue cougar, a lovely, lovely blue cougar with perfect wheels and a nice base, perfect hood. Huh, that is a nice cougar. Look at the front, look at the back, beautiful, and the bottom, and the sides, and that side. That's a beautiful car. That is a beautiful car. This is working out. Very well. Very well, indeed. Mustang. Mustang Red Hong Kong. Let's take a look. We've got, um, hmm, what I suspect are painted in wheels. Yes. Hood is solid. Good, good. Decent paint. Real good paint. Let me look at these wheels. Yep. These wheels have been painted in. I don't like that. I'll probably cut these off take them off it's not worth if you got a like a bad wheel on a car it's not worth risking uh it's not worth risking a chance of pulling the hub off of a decent car all right i got a question for you guys that watch this and i'd ask people that didn't watch it if i could but that's kind of impossible i have several cars that i put aside over the years that kind of remind me of this car and um, I don't know if you can see it proper or not, but um, I swear there's, um, let's see if we can zoom in there. I swear there's like a clear coat on this car. It's, all right, I'll just let you look at that a little bit. I swear that somebody, but how would you do that? How would you put a clear coat on a car? I mean, obviously the wheels have been messed with. Look at that, I mean... That's unnaturally shiny, and there's all kinds of, you know, cracks and whatnot. I think that's like that spot right there, right there, top of my thumb. That looks like it's touched up and then clear-coated over the top. And these wheels, 
One of these days I'm going to just slap all this stuff on eBay and get rid of it. But I hate to do that. Anyway, it's definitely an adult... What would you call it? Adulterated? I don't know. Anyway, I don't like that kind of stuff. I'm going to get out of here. All right, there we go. Now I'm way too far out. There we go. I'm using a Galaxy Ultra 21 phone to make my videos. Has nice zoom capabilities. Oh, this is nice. This is a really, really nice Hong Kong blue beatnik a bandit. Very nice. Hmm. I like that. That is nice. I have a small collection of Hong Kong loose cars. I prefer the U.S. And I have been selling off some of my Hong Kong cars, but uh, I've got some spaces in there to fill now. Look at this. A blue Hong Kong Camaro. It looks almost perfect, but it has one chip on the hood. And let me look closely. How in the world? Ah, oh, that is so weird. So this car, which on first glance looks nearly perfect, has a scuff here on the black, and the hood's got a chip on it, and it's bent at the end there. That's so weird. I think that probably, I don't know how that would have happened. Maybe it was a factory flaw, but still, it's beautiful. It's a wonderful car. With the blue interior, man. That's like a $200 chip right there. That is like a $200 chip on a car like this. But it's still a very, very good car. Glad to have it. Glad to have that. Blue. Take this down. Add this. Take that down. Add this. Take that down. Move this. What? Wait a minute, we got a theme going here. You know, blue, unfortunately, I think you can get every 68 in blue except the Diora. You just can't get that. But you could always have one made. There's a lot of guys that paint cars really nice. And, you know, if you want a rare car, you know, a rare color on a car, why not just have one professionally done? Because you're not going to get a Diora. All right, what do we got here now? We got a red Firebird. A red Firebird with a red interior. A red interior, a little glossy too, a little glossy. Let me check this under the magnifying. All right, this car, like the Mustang before it, has that really weird thing going on with the paint. There's more light over here. Can you see what I'm talking about? In this case, on the back here, you can see almost like a couple of paint lines. I don't think you can see it in this light. But it's just weirdly glossy. Let me focus it all. There we go. Isn't that weird? Weirdly glossy. And the wheels, they, you can almost not tell that they've been touched up with paint, but I think they just were with just a really fine hand. And then the base is dull, and the grill has got the wear on it. So there's definitely more wear on the bottom than you would expect for a car that looked this good on top. It's definitely not been taken apart. It's got the genuine article rivets there. So that's good. Deep dish, wheels on the front. That's going to have to go into that private stable that someday will get sold off as questionable red lines. Questionable. I watch out for that. Red Camaro. All right, let's see what we've got going on here. We've got a loose hood, which is typical of Camaros. And, uh, oh, this one is nice. This is a nice car. Look at that. That is a nice car. The cowl is probably, almost looks like it's bent down slightly, but I don't think so. This is gorgeous. Look at that. This is the real deal right here. This is what makes collections worthwhile. Now it has the heavy toning, and uh, which is good actually, because on a U.S. car, if you saw no toning, then the chances are it could be not real. Look at that beautiful rear. Oh, she's sweet on the end. 
and the front too. A couple of little chips on there. A beautiful car, the kind of car that you will see at the Hot Wheels convention in a case for sale. I always check to see what's going on there. The pin is still there. It's just that little, the way the hoods are put on is that you've got the C on the body and then the pin on the hood and they're pinched together somehow. And then when that opens up, then they just drop out like that. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal. Definitely affects the price, but doesn't affect the displayability. All right, here we got a Hong Kong purple silhouette. You know, the funny thing is, is last week I sold my purple silhouette out of my collection. It turns out it wasn't as nice as I thought it was when I looked at it closely. But now I've got one to take its place. And this one does look mint, but if you look probably magnification wise, you could see that there are chips, chips. See, the difference between the way most people look at Hot Wheels and the way I look at Hot Wheels is this is me and this is everyone else. And this is the people that find their childhood collection. They look at it like this, like, oh, that thing is mint. Or even a better example would be like, oh, yeah, definitely uh, that uh, Ford J car is mint. And they look at it like that. And then they, I get it and I go, Hmm. Oh, no. Not mint. Not even. Even. Yep, that's how it works. All right. But we work through it. Get used to it after years and years and years. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, holy smokes. Purple Barracuda. And this one with a loose hood pin. Loose hood pin. Loose hood pin is better than a broken hood pin. Broken hood pin will make the hood fall off. Loose hood pin will keep the hood on. U.S. purple. That's a tough combo. Tough combo. Remember when I said uh, silhouettes tend to lose their tires a lot? Well, yeah, see what I mean? They look good on that Barracuda, right? That's what I'm talking about. Purple Barracuda. Rear, good. Front, great. Sides, excellent. Top, perfect. Little chip right there. Yeah, medium chip right there. Still loving it. Man, how many more cars you got in this collection? Jeez, 50 cars. 50 cars are a lot more cars than you would think. And there are definitely more than 40. And less than 60. It's 50. All right. Sometimes they get a little goofy. Aqua Hong Kong Corvette. What do you know about that? Aqua Hong Kong. Will the hood open? I don't know. I'm not going to force it. I don't know if I've ever had an Aqua Hong Kong. Got one now. Got one now. Straighten out that wheel. I think we're all good to go on that. Look at that. How's the rear? Good. Front. Good. That's a nice car. I'm liking that. Wow, we. Oh man, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky today. Oh, it's exhausting. All these Hot Wheels. Look at that, huh? No, no bars on this one. That is. Look at that. A white enamel 4J car. Surprisingly, I get a lot of these. Or did in the past. And I'm going to try out some new stickers on it. Probably on this one. That's 60s from a Ferrari. So that's got to go. I think it will come off. Probably pull all the paint off. I don't know. I won't try that now. I'll put some goo going on that. See if I can get that off. By the way. If you were watching me. I think. I think. It's all done. That blister pack. The sticker is completely removed. With no damage to the card. Now I just got to let that baby dry. Put her in the display case. Oh, those 68 blisters, man. That's where it's at. Oh, it's been a month. Oh, January's just been nuts. Cougar US. Good hood. Good wheels. Good grill. Good tail. That's a good car. Oh, get back in there. There's always some weird spots on U.S. Cougars. 
darkening on the side, typical, typical. Darkening on the side, typical, typical. And, uh, but overall, a real nice little machine. The Cougar machine. Hmm. I just may put together some original 16 sets. People always ask me to do that. I can't really do it because it takes too much concentration, time, pricing, coloring. Look at that. We got original boards. Yay, original boards. Love them. And a purple Diora. Oh, Oh, no, I was going to say the steering wheel is actually in place in that one, but no, it's floating around in there. Most of the Hong Kongs have a steering wheel that's loose because it comes out of the plastic thing. And then also these surfboard tie-downs are broke. It's just a weak design. Probably the plastic was too hard or something. That's Look at those perfect wheels on there. Holy smokies. Look at that. They're so perfect. Hmm. Wow. That's a nice car. Look at that. Purple. Oh my goodness. Three more cars in this collection will be done. Yay. Then I'll have to line them up and take a picture. What do we got? We've got an Aqua US. Oh, that's a beaut. Wow. Aqua US Beatnik Bandit. Oh, I love that. Gorgeous. That is a beauty. Really sets off nice with that champagne interior doesn't it it does oh look at that face mean oh thank you ed big daddy roth for your creations and tom daniels thank you shout out to the man the man the legend tom daniels oh my look at that pink U.S. Milky Pink. Look at that. Now that is Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector Condition Collectible. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Holy smokes. And I love hot heaps. Got a bunch of them. Wow. That is my favorite of everything here. This is my favorite. Look at that. And it's second to last. My favorite, put that down. No, I'm not going to do that. That'd be awful. Wow. One last, one left. All right. Oh, Barracuda, Aqua Hong Kong. Beautiful shape. Wow, beautiful shape. Look at that. Look at that. All right. All right, well, let me line these up, take a couple of photos, and see what we've got. Hey, there was one more thing in this collection, and it was a Mantis in a really horrible blister pack. But what's cool about this Mantis is it's a yellow Hong Kong. And uh, I'm not even sure I've ever seen a yellow Hong Kong before, so I think uh, better open it. What do you think? Yes, better open that. It's kind of dirty anyway. Let's get it out of there and see how pretty it is. Oh, yes. Very nice. Look at that. Yellow Hong Kong. Jeez, I just might have to start collecting these again. This Mantis Hong Kong. That's my green rag. Look how pretty that is with the blue window. I think I have a red one and an orange one too. Maybe copper. This is cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big fan, fan of the uh, fantasy models, but that's just cool. Right? That's cool. Oh. Awesome. All right, everybody, here is a review of some of the cars, most of the cars really from this collection. Two sets of original 16, one US, one Hong Kong, almost complete on the Hong Kong. Oh, look at this. There's a couple of real beauties in there. Well, there's always beauties in a Hot Wheels collection. So thanks for joining me on this video and please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your comments below, give me a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of my other videos. I've got over 570 videos for your watching pleasure. Bye now.